Hello guys, if you are uh, looking for a wonderful preparation schedule for cat which tells you what you should do on a week by week basis and a day by day basis, go no further than to I am. So just check out the description here. It's a fabulous link. Click that and then just see what variant of it works for you. Download this, stick it somewhere and you're good to go. Best wishes. How should I prepare for cat if my quant basics are not in place? If I'm a, uh, the, the typical way of expressing this question is if I'm a non-engineer. I'm gonna stay away from that. If my quant basics are not in place, if I don't have a handle on my quant, what should I do? Quant is the biggest preparation territory. So if you look at the cat paper, it has three sections, BRC, LRDI and, and quant. If you, if you've done no preparation at all, chances are you can understand or try almost everything from BRC. And you have a shot at figuring out and answering everything from logical reasoning. So the only part that requires heavy duty preparation is quant. In there, maybe half the questions you can try any which way, but you probably don't know what are twin primes or what is the angle bisector theorem, what is a regular hexagon. So some part of jargon and learning is required. So if you're completely not at home with quant, then you need to have a beautiful strategy to amp that up. My preferred strategy and one that pays off beautifully is to do arithmetic and then once you're done with arithmetic, do arithmetic again, double down, camp out on arithmetic, get super comfortable with basics, then move towards the other topic. Multiple reasons for this, the more comfortable you have, you are dealing with ratios and linear equations and, and solving uh, speed time distance and pipe systems question, the more comfortable you are in framing equations and solving them and the more ready you are to receive ideas beyond this. That's the first learning part. The second more pragmatic part, if you have a handle on quants, if you have a handle on arithmetic, if you're very comfortable with it, your root to 95th percentile is built. At least half the questions come from here on almost all cats. And if you get half of them, half of the half questions, right, you cross 90th percentile probably. So if there is a 22 questions in quant and 13 come from arithmetic, you get seven right, you're crossing 92nd, 93rd percentile. So with just arithmetic in the back, you have a route to probably 93, 94. So get that in the back very comfortably. Topics I have in mind, percentages, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, averages, little bit of linear equation, even though it's not strictly arithmetic, speed time distance and races, ratio proportions and mixtures, some bits of maybe progression, some elements of exponents and logarithm. Put all this together, call this an arithmetic bundle, get that, get super comfortable with it, you're on your way. The, 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 the don't fret about the trickier parts, concept heavy parts early on, not required, not practically not required even for this exam completely. If you want to get 95, you can get there with just arithmetic. After you're super comfortable with it, add on geometry because geometry opens the door to geometry, trigonometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, it's super useful. Then add on a little bit of algebra, which is quadratic equations, inequalities, functions, modulus, just getting comfortable with x's and y's. Then come to number theory, permutation, probability, all of these, all of these items. So that should be your progression, but you must say, I'm going to get super comfortable with arithmetic, have this in my bag, get super happy doing these questions, then move to the others. The route to 93, 94 gets built in with just arithmetic. Keep that in mind, keep that as a mantra. Digest it completely before you go anywhere else. Best wishes for Ken.